Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Shweta and if you're new here on this channel, we talk all about online marketing strategies, digital products and tips and tricks to help you grow and start an online business. So if that is something you're interested in, you are in the right place. In today's video, we're going to talk all about how you can actually start creating and selling digital products. So if digital products have been on your mind, if you're thinking about creating one, this would be a great video for you. Also, I recently posted a video where I spoke about uh, some digital product ideas to help you get some perspective on the kind of digital product ideas you can create in your business. So you, if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out after this video. But uh, without further ado, let's get into talking about creating and selling digital products. Okay, so when it comes to creating digital products, before you get started, there are two main things that you should keep in mind. So the first one is the niche or the audience you're creating a digital product for. And this is important because the best kind of digital products solve one specific need of an audience. So for example, if you're creating a digital product for people who are looking for a job, Something like a resume audit or, you know, build your best resume or uh, optimize your LinkedIn profile would work better than something like, uh, you know, get your career on track, for example, especially if it's a low cost digital product, because uh, with LinkedIn specific or resume specific, you're giving your audience a very, very specific result. So in their mind, when they're buying the digital product, they already know what the end result is going to be. And that is always helpful. So if you know your audience, you'll know exactly what they need because they've been asking you questions, right? or they've been commenting stuff on your content. So definitely make sure your digital product is super specific. And this is especially true if you're a beginner and this is your uh, first digital product. It really helps to create something sp super specific uh, that delivers one particular result. The second thing to remember is uh, decide the format of your digital product before you're actually creating the product. So decide if it's going to be a text based product or a product that has, you know, shorter videos or it's going to be an audio based product. So once you have those two things uh, good to go, you can start creating your digital product. Now let's talk about the tools you would use to create digital products. So first, let's talk about text based digital products. So if you're creating an ebook where, uh, you know, you're writing a lot of content as part of the ebook, I would highly suggest using Google Docs to write out the content because it's always easy to format uh, in Google Docs. And then you can create the cover of your ebook in Canva, which is a tool that you can use even if you're a you know, if you, even if you've never uh, designed in, in your life, Canva is a great tool for beginners and it works, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's as good as Photoshop or InDesign because of course there are more advanced and complicated tools, but Canva is good enough for your needs. So you can design your cover in Canva and your text in Google Docs, and then you can combine the two either by pasting all your content into Canva or by pasting the cover that you've designed, downloading it, and then, you know, adding it as the first page in your Google Docs. So this is a really simple way to create your ebook without much complications and without, you know, thinking about what complicated platform you need to use. But if you're creating other digital products like templates or workbooks, Canva works great. You can design those things from scratch right inside of Canva. They have a lot of templates that you can use as well. So any text-based products, uh, Canva works great. And it's probably, you know, the easiest tool you can get started with. Now, when it comes to creating video based products. So if you're, uh, if you want to have short videos as part of your digital product, I would highly recommend checking out Loom. It is a Chrome extension uh, and it's a really easy to use platform that you can start using to create videos. You can uh, do screen recording using Loom. You can also record yourself using Loom. And of course, if you are using your phone to record videos, you can just use your phone you don't you can use your phone camera 
I record my like this video that I'm recording is actually on my iPhone. So uh, that's again an easy, great option to use if if you have a good camera on on your phone. If not, then you can use Loom. Uh, the other option, if you have a Mac, would be just the QuickTime Player. You can directly record a video right there. Again, don't make it complicated. It's very easy to you know use these basic tools to kind of create your digital product. You don't have to be perfect. Your digital product should just be good enough that it's providing the right value to your audience and then if you're creating an audio based product uh, and you know if you if you don't know what kind of product you can create in terms of audio definitely check out my video on digital product ideas but if you're looking to create an audio based product you can use a voice recording uh, app on your phone there are tons of voice recording apps for android as well as ios so definitely check those out. And of course, if you're offering audio coaching or text-based coaching, you can use a platform called Voxer, which is again, free to get started with. And you will be able to connect with your clients over Voxer. You could send them audio messages over Voxer and even text messages. So these are some great tools to help you create your digital product. Again, when it comes to creating a digital product, don't make it complicated, make it very simple. Uh, and you know, the goal here is to get started, have your digital product ready to sell rather than, you know, perfecting it. The second part of the video here, I want to talk about how you sell your digital products. Now, again, a lot of people try make this really complicated. It is not. There are two parts to selling your digital product. First of all, you want to collect the payment. So where is someone going to go? when they're looking to buy the product from you. So that's the first part. The second part is delivering the product. So what happens after someone pays you for the digital product, right? So there are two separate things. So first let's talk about delivering. So how are you going to deliver your digital product? Now, a lot of platforms that you could use to sell your digital products offer you the, the features where you could deliver the product. Right. So you, that's a great option. Again, the easiest option would be the platform you're using would let you deliver the product. But if that's not the case, you could deliver the product right inside of Google Drive. I think that's the easiest way to deliver a digital product. And I've done in, done this in the past. I would just create a folder, uh, you know, that has all the, the documents I want to share with someone who's bought that digital product from me. And then I just share with them the link to the Google Drive folder. So once they click on the link, they can open the folder and they can save the folder as a copy and they'll get all the documents uh, that you know, are part of my digital product. So I've definitely done this in the past. The other easy way to deliver your digital product is right inside a Facebook group. So you could just create a Facebook group, upload all the videos, or even, you know, shoot live videos inside the Facebook group itself. You could upload any documents, any PDFs that you're sharing with your uh, audience who bought those digital products and just invite them to join the Facebook group. So that's another really easy way to deliver your digital products. So now that we've spoken about delivery, let's talk about selling. So one of the easiest ways you can sell your digital products is by installing or embedding a PayPal button on your website or sales page. So if you have a WordPress website or if you're using Squarespace, you could just embed the PayPal button to you know get people to pay for your digital product. And then once they pay you, you could just send them an email with a link to the Google Drive or the Facebook group. The other option, which is also free, is a platform called Payhip, and I've done a video on that. Payhip is a great way to deliver your, uh, to sell and deliver your digital products because it's free to get started with. Of course, you're charged a certain percentage of your sales, but it's only if you do end up selling something. So definitely check out Payhip. You can get paid for your digital products and you can also use Payhip to deliver those digital products easiest platform in in my opinion and you also have other such platforms like gumroad and send out that you can definitely check out i'll share those links in the description box if you're in the advanced stages of selling digital products i would highly recommend two platforms that i really like the first one is member vault 
it is a great platform they have a great community on facebook definitely check it out and the second one is kajabi which is one of my favorite platforms to sell digital products courses as well as coaching they also have a new feature where you can set up your own podcast on kajabi so of course now here we've spoken about selling digital products if you're using our own platform if you're new to the digital product space and you don't have an audience yet etsy is also a great place for you to start especially if you're selling something like templates workbooks planners uh, printables etc and the other option is creative market Again, if you're selling printable wall art, uh, templates and workbooks and so on, Creative Market is also a great place. Remember that if you're using Etsy or Creative Market, you also have to pay for each listing, which is like every time you list your digital product, you will have to pay Etsy a commission, right? So uh, Etsy, again, is a great option if you're new and if you don't have an audience. But I would highly recommend if you do decide to sell on Etsy, you, sh you should on the side also start building your audience either on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube to help, you know, grow that audience so that eventually you can move from Etsy to having your own platform where you're selling your digital products. So these were some of the tips to help you start creating digital products in your business as well as selling and delivering those digital products. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.